Hello artists. Welcome back to art class. Last week, you listened to a read aloud called Radiant Child about the artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. Can we say his name? Jean-Michel Basquiat. He's a very famous artist and he began his career making street art. Have you heard about street art? Can you make a guess what it might be? Street art is art that's made in public places. It might be on a wall or a sidewalk or in a building. Sometimes people are confused between street art and graffiti. Graffiti is art that's made without permission. So some street art is graffiti if the artist does not have permission to put their painting on a side of a train or on a wall. And some street art is not graffiti because the artist has permission to make their art in that space. Today, we see that graffiti and street art can make a place more beautiful, welcoming, exciting, creative. It can change how people feel about a place that maybe was not beautiful or interesting before. It can be really exciting. There are street art festivals around the world. Jean-Michel and a friend of his, when they were just teenagers, started making street art and graffiti around their neighborhood in New York City. It was a really exciting time in art when lots of people were making street art and graffiti and new styles were coming out. The invention of spray paint just happened. And so people were being really, really creative and kind of creating this whole new style of art that is still so popular today. This was just before hip hop music started and people are making music in the streets and coming up with this whole new exciting style of music. And so these two things of a new kind of art and a new kind of music grew up sort of together. And maybe there were some ideas that crisscrossed back and forth. In music class, you are composing a hip hop song as a class, so cool. I can't wait to hear what you're coming up with. So in art class, I'd like you to use your imagination today. I'd like you to imagine that a record producer has heard your song, even if it's not finished yet, that's okay. And they wanna turn your song into a whole album, but they'd also like an album cover. This is one of Jean-Michel Basquiat's paintings that was featured on a new album in 2020, just last year. Album covers are one of the ways that musicians might help tell the story of their album, or might just... Album art is one of the ways that people get excited about new music, especially if they're DJs. Let's check in with Mr. McLean our third grade teacher here at UES, who is also known as Brother B and is a DJ at a local radio well, station. that I really like and I want you to know why. This one's called Round Room and it's by the band Fish, which is my favorite band. And I love this album cover because it's a sculpture that looks very realistic, but I believe that this sculpture is actually quite small, even though on the album it looks really big. And this album was designed by a Vermont artist sculptor named Lars Fisk. This is another album I really like because it speaks of some important things that I think are good messages for living. And it's called Rise Up and it's by J period. And this is done in collage format and it includes lots of activists for social justice. This is a new album that really got my attention because it's got lots of artists on it that I really like. Artists meaning musicians, but in terms of the art of the album cover, I absolutely love the colors. It's a nice blend of 
the cool colors in the trees with some of the warmer colors of the uh, vehicles. So those are three album covers that I really like. How will your album design get people excited about your music? You can design your album cover for your hip hop class song or for another song that you've written or for a favorite song that you have. I started by drawing two lines to make my letters. Then I wrote my capital letters tall between the two lines. Then I turned these letters into block letters and I chose to add some street style with some bumps and some funk. I'll include some street style alphabets in the lesson plan slideshow if you'd like to see those for some inspiration. It's up to you whether you do street style on your album cover or not. This is just to give you some different ideas. I went over my pencil lines with Sharpie. You could also use black marker or black crayon. Then I erased my pencil lines. The title of my album is Resilience, which means growing through challenges. I then drew some lines and colors so that people might notice my album as they're scrolling or looking through records or CDs. Then I colored my letters with bright colors. Try to think about making your colors bold so people will really notice them. I hope that you have fun and I can't wait to see what you come up with.